Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back with another performance review. And for those who have not read the title today, we're taking a look at the Air Jordan. Why not 0.3? Let's get it. First and foremost, massive shout out to The Plug, AKA The Family, AKA Pro Direct Basketball. Yes, if you would like the Why Not 0.3s or anything basketball related, head over to the description box below, click the link, productbasketball.com shall take care of you. As they do, as they always do. Russell Westbrook, now on his third season to shoot, yep. in his first season over at Houston Rockets and having the most efficient season we have seen in a very, very long time. Yeah, yeah the triple-double thing is done and dusted. We know he's got that in the bag, but numbers-wise, he's killing right now. And he's doing that all in these. Now, if you ask me, this is one of the best looking ones. Bro, these are cold. The design of the Westbrook line has been amazing. It's been yep. so consistent. I love from the, what they've done with the one, two, and then the three. It's yep. evolved really well. The dis kind of deconstructed look of all the different materials and the, and the, and the shades of colors and yeah. everything looks fantastic. I would say that some colorways do look better than others. That happens. Like the one in my hand looks better okay. than the one in your hand. All right, we're, we're, gonna, you know, we're gonna move on. And we're gonna get straight into it. Starting things off with our favorite part of the shoe, it's the traction. And over here, we have the lightning bolt traction pan. Yep. Yeah. And named perfectly so, because Russell Westbrook is a blur on the basketball Ooh. bro. The dude is rapid. Rapid. Yeah? And what I love about this traction pattern is how aggressive it is. Agreed. And the amount of coverage that you get. Yep. The bite is absolutely sensational. It's wonderful. Wonderful yeah. in these. And the individual nodes are really malleable as well. Yep. So they move really well with you. Giving you more traction. Giving coverage, you more which is traction. Insane. It's and lovely. more bite. It's wonderful. Now, what I will say about the traction is that those nodes being so malleable, it does take a hit on durability. Just a little bit. And what you sometimes see is in the toe area, those nodes will seem to kind of pick off a little bit and then you lose coverage. Yeah. So for that reason, you're going to lose points. Yeah. So if you have to give this bad boy a score, it's still a nine out of 10. Yeah. It Strong easily nine. could have been a 10 if the compound was a bit better, but then I guess it wouldn't have been as manual. Nine, nine out of 10 it is, nine out of 10. Moving on to our next favorite part of the shoe, it's the cushioning. Yeah. And it's four foot zoom. However, it's four foot zoom turbo. And when we talk four foot zoom turbo, we're talking articulated zoom bag in the four foot, a very large one at that, yeah. split into three different sections with actually four different flex grooves as well. You're getting a large bag to give you the extra coverage, you're getting the flexibility so it kind of feels nice around the foot and really just molds to your shape every time you step, you twist, you do what you do on the court. And I thought they felt amazing. Yeah. Not only was the bag there, but the carrier is a phylon, which actually feels much softer than your kind of regular phylon, so I would call it an injected phylon which felt just amazing on the foot. Now, we don't get any bags in the heel, yep. but we do have that file on injected, like I mentioned, and it does feel fantastic. Yeah, bro, I really enjoyed this setup. I love the response yep. in the in the forefoot and the court feel that it gave you, mm -hmm. and the imper protection in the heel. It all comes together really, it really does. nicely. I agree, I agree. Now, of course, it's not full length zoom, so you're not gonna get a 10 out of 10. Can't happen. Yeah, but it's you tough. still get a strong nine out of 10. Strongest. Because that zoom turbo was fantastic. Thanks. Real quick, like this video if you're enjoying this content. Comment down below what your thoughts of the Why Not 0.3s are. Are you copying? Are you dropping? Let us know. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We highly appreciate the support. And if you want to be a G, hit that bell next to the subscribe button and stay notified every time we drop a new video. Make sure you head over to our Instagram and hit follow over there. We're active on there with stories and questions and polls. If you guys have any questions you'd love answered, make sure you hit the DMs on there and we'll hope to get back to you as quick as we can. So make sure you hit that follow over on Instagram for sure. Next up, we have the materials. Now this is where things actually get a little interesting. Very. Now, as some of you may know, Russell Westbrook is somewhat of a uh, fashion icon mm -hmm. off the basketball mm -hmm. court. Mm -hmm. yeah, they, he's a real flashy guy. He likes to come to games with new outfits. Yep. And most of the time, the dude looks great. Most of the time. The shoes, specifically the materials, are a perfect representation of Westbrook's experimental 
fashion mindset. Ooh. All right. We have a mix of different materials right. in places where you wouldn't expect them. True. Okay. We have a deconstructed mesh all over the shoe with hints of uh, leather. We also have the silicone like elastic strap in the forefoot. And we also have some 3M around the eyelets and the uh, lacing system as well. So it's all going on. We have loads of different off. things. And I think it's what makes the shoe really interesting. Agreed. And very different is because you don't have something like this on the market. No, sure. you, know, you get loads of different materials and they come together really well. They break in really nicely. Agreed. They're really comfortable. They're light and they're breathable. That's true. It's true. There's definitely a lot going on, yeah. which can sometimes take a hit to all of those things. But when you put them together, so I would definitely say shout out to the design team because yeah. they did their thing. Yeah. On this one, it really, really did. So if I had to give it a score, it's a nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. Nine out of 10 on materials, hands down. Moving on to our last two categories, the fit and support. Yes, normally we kind of separate these ones in their own categories. However, when we're talking about the Westbrook 0.3, these two really fall hand in hand more than other shoes do. Yes. So when we're talking fit, the fit is fantastic. It's a nice fitting shoe. Why? Because it's true to size, the lacing system's nice, and there's padding in the heel area, which actually makes for a very, very nice fitting shoe. Yeah. It's nice to foot, it's close to foot, and it feels quite secure as well. And it's pretty much the same with support. We have our usual suspect. We have the outrigger shape of the shoe to help with that lateral support so that we're good when we're moving. We have the external midsole heel counter that replaces an absent internal TPU heel counter yeah. and the overall lockdown of the shoe, That's right. okay? Obviously this shoe isn't a high top, so the support uh, is lacking some in tiny some bit. way, tiny yeah, bit, yeah, but yeah. it's nothing crazy. My only gripe with the strap is that it's quite limited. Yeah. So when you deal with Velcro straps on most shoes, you kind of get it in one place, which yeah. means all you're getting is that lockdown in right there. The next part of it is where that lacing system comes into play. Now, that's where you really need to tighten this yes. shoe to get a full effect of support. Bro, I had to go as far as wearing double socks that to too. really feel the lockdown, bro. So when you all kind of combine the two, both kind of gain something, but both lose something as yeah. well. So for me, I felt heel slippage until I tightened the death out of this shoe. Yeah. I had to, especially around this area here, which of course is connected to the kind of that back area of the shoe. I had to tighten. I mean, we really had to. You know, you have to. Them, them ones, but you start off from the bottom and you're doing all of that. To really feel the perfect fit and the best support in yeah. the shoe had to be an absolute workout just to make sure they were tight, which I didn't love. Yeah. Because I don't like my shoes to be tight, I like them to be snug. Which and it looks funny sense. sometimes. As well, it looks right? a bit dead. It looks weird. It doesn't sometimes look when like. You're, when you're strangling your foot, yeah, it, it looks, doesn't look yeah. lovely. So like I said, you gain a lot because you're gaining a better fit and you're gaining the better support, but you're losing something because of that kind of stress it takes to get it. So when we're talking to score on both fit and support, both of them get a very humble but strong eight. They both easily could have been nines. Well, I guess one of them could have been a nine if depending on the other, yeah. that other one would have been a seven. So eight makes sense. So looking at all the scores of the Why Not 0.3s, this shoe comes out at an 8.6 out of 10. 8.6 out of 10. I ain't mad at that. Bro, this shoe bangs. I'm not mad at that. It's definitely my favorite Westbrook so yep, far. Yeah, I'll give you that. And that comes from the amazing cushioning system. Yeah, that Zoom Turbo is incredible. Response, thoughtful, and impact protection is all there. I, I the traction it. I was it. aggressive. I hear it. The bite was amazing. Yeah, the overall fit as well was decent. Yeah. When we made sure the shoe was tight, the overall fit was good, and that played hand in hand with the support as well. And of course, the main attraction of this shoe are those deconstructive materials. This shoe looks cold on cold, feet. Cold, cold, cold. So performance aside, you want to look good when you hoop, and this shoe definitely does that, yeah? So if you want to get involved with the Why Not 0.3s, take a look at our description box below. The Pro Direct Basketball link is there. Click on that and it will take you straight to their website where you can indeed purchase these and anything else basketball related. Let me say one more thing though, talking about that design, because these are cold, they're cold, they're cold, they're yeah. cold. I love that they sexified the 0.2. Because mm. there's similarities, mm. but they just got sleeker and sexy with yeah, it on these. Yeah, you see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I hear you, bro. It's almost a similar back like shoe, but they trimmed it down, got more <clears throat> with it. Yeah, straight to the point. Straight to the point. I'm messing with them. Pro Direct. 
safe. So right guys, that's everything from us. As per usual, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Like this video, show your support to your boys. Comment down below what your thoughts are on the 0.3s. Are you copping? Are you dropping? Are you getting them for a friend? Did a friend get them for you? What are your thoughts on the shoe? We love to know. Of course, hit that beautiful subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. Those videos include performance reviews, they include comparisons, unboxings, giveaways. Rotations. Rotations, giveaways giveaways hit that button hit that bell make sure you don't miss out and of course head over to our instagram and hit follow over there we're active over there if you've got questions or you want to show us a little something something head over there hit us in the dms we'll get back to you as soon as we can so right guys that's everything from us this is the air jordan why not 0.3 we're pure kicks let's, let's get, get it, it.